the SEC's latest bombshell, Binance and Coinbase in trouble. Ever since Gary Gensler assumed the role of Wall Street's chief overseer two years ago, he has consistently conveyed a persistent message to cryptocurrency companies. He will employ every means necessary to rein in an industry he perceives as resembling the Wild West. And in the initial weeks of June, he lived up to his promise and then some which caught most of us off guard. With the unveiling of an onslaught of charges against two of the world's largest crypto exchanges, Coinbase and Binance, the Securities and Exchanges Commission, SEC, ignited a legal battle that holds immense significance for the future of cryptocurrencies. The outcome of this clash will have far-reaching implications, both positive and negative for the crypto landscape. Now, before we go deep into the crux of the matter to try to understand the nature of the problem both Binance and Coinbase are in, or why it carries such weight, you need to understand that these charges are multifaceted. Understanding this would really help you understand the gravity of the situation. First things first, these charges encompass a range of alleged violations, including but not limited to improper registration, inadequate disclosure, and illicit trading activities. Yep, I was shocked too, especially since before companies like this can go public, they must be assessed by the SEC. And if I'm not mistaken, Coinbase in 2021 was reviewed thoroughly in 2021 before the initial public offering when they went public. Now, although the solution to this particular issue is as simple as going to the SEC and getting properly registered is easy, how to go about it is shrouded in mystery. A mystery the Coinbase team still can't solve, and it is probably the same for Binance. However, with the SEC targeting these high-profile exchanges, one can be led to believe that they do this to address the underlying issues that plague the crypto world or an effort to tame the wild, wild west, like Gary Gensler rightly stated. These issues are usually market manipulation, which is quite rampant in the crypto space, investor protection concerns, and the lack of regulatory oversight. But then this leaves us with an overarching question at stake here. How do we know if the actions taken by Gensler and the SEC will ultimately steer cryptocurrencies toward a more secure and reputable future? Or if they will inadvertently stifle innovation and hinder the industry's growth potential? I'll leave that for you to answer in the comments section. Before moving on, I believe that striking the right balance between safeguarding investors and nurturing technological advancements remains a complex challenge, and the outcome of this legal showdown will undoubtedly shape the path ahead for cryptocurrencies. Now, you've seen the gravity of the situation, let's see the nature of this problem before going over the specific predicaments faced by Binance and Coinbase, shredding light on the unique circumstances surrounding each exchange and their respective implications for the crypto landscape. Nature of the Trouble you might have heard of the ongoing battle in the financial and, most especially, the crypto space, and the two names you are most likely to come across are Binance and Coinbase. Well, two things are involved here. First, yes, there is a battle in the crypto space. And second, no, it is not between Binance and Coinbase, both of whom are major players in the crypto realm and play very significant roles in it. Every day, billions of dollars worth of digital assets are exchanged on their platforms, catering to customers from around the globe. The trouble, however, lies in the regulatory ambiguity surrounding cryptocurrencies. Since their inception, cryptocurrencies have existed in murky legal territory. The existing financial regulations were established long before the emergence of digital currencies, leaving a void in terms of clear guidelines for this new form of finance. This ongoing feud primarily revolves around a power struggle between the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and another federal regulator called the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. Both agencies are vying for control over the oversight of cryptocurrencies in the broader crypto sector. Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, firmly believes that most cryptocurrencies should be classified as securities. He even goes on to assert that his agency has the authority to regulate these assets and the websites and applications used 
for buying and selling them. Though the lawsuits against Coinbase and Binance differ in various aspects, they share a common accusation. Both Binance and Coinbase have allegedly failed to register their exchanges with the SEC. This is a point of contention that crypto companies have vehemently opposed. Like I said initially, doing this is easier said than done because it's not a straightforward process. In addition to this, it is also the fact that, by design, cryptocurrencies are intended to operate independently of the traditional financial system, evading stringent regulations. The crypto industry yearns for a fresh set of rules tailored specifically to this digital landscape. If the SEC emerges victorious in these legal battles, it could potentially compel crypto companies to register with the agency. This outcome would signify a significant shift in the landscape of cryptocurrency regulation. Timothy Massad, the former chairman of the CFTC, emphasizes the profound impact these lawsuits will have on shaping crypto regulation. In his words, I think these cases will be fundamental to the shape of crypto regulation, proving that whatever comes out from this will set a precedent and define the future regulatory framework for the entire crypto industry. But how? How will this ongoing bickering between Binance, Coinbase, and the regulatory bodies affect the companies and the crypto community at large? How are Binance and Coinbase affected? By now, you should already know that the legal battles affecting both Binance and Coinbase and mounting heaps of accusations on them will have a rippling effect, not just on the companies, but also on the entire crypto space. Among the accusations is the fact that Binance Chief Executive Officer Chen Peng Zhao faces serious allegations of misleading investors about its ability to detect market manipulation and misusing customer funds. On the other hand, Coinbase, a publicly traded company, is grappling with the potential of emerging as a materially different business from what it is today, according to analyst Stephen Glagola from TD Cowan. Undeterred, both Binance and Coinbase have resolved to defend themselves against these charges knowing full well that the road ahead will be arduous and lengthy. Paul Gruel, Coinbase's chief legal officer, reassures stakeholders, stating, We are operating business as usual. These cases sometimes take not only many months, but many years to resolve. However, as time goes on, the impact of these legal battles may begin to cast a shadow over the crypto community's perception of Binance and Coinbase. In the wake of the lawsuits, significant outflows from the exchanges have already been observed. These developments are poised to influence people's attitudes toward trading, forcing Coinbase to consider its strategic options. The question arises, can it afford to fight this battle indefinitely, or should it explore the possibility of a settlement? The ramification of these legal disputes extend beyond just Coinbase and Binance. They have the potential to create widespread uncertainty and further erode confidence in the entire crypto sector. Notably, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has taken action against various crypto companies, including Kraken, Genesis, and Gemini. What distinguishes Coinbase and Binance from traditional finance is their multifaceted roles as exchanges, brokerages, and clearing agencies. This unique model has attracted scrutiny from Gary Gensler, the influential figure spearheading regulatory efforts as the head of Wall Street's watchdog. Gensler remains skeptical of his unconventional approach, contributing to the mounting challenges faced by these companies. The crypto industry thrives on sediment, and unfortunately, it has endured a turbulent period since last year's collapse of FTX. The former CEO, Sam Bank Bankman Freed now faces civil charges from the SEC and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, with the Justice Department also pursuing criminal charges against him. This catastrophic event triggered what has come to be known as a crypto winter, characterized by a persistent downturn in market sediment. Glygola predicts that this negative sediment surrounding crypto will likely persist. Trading volumes have dwindled since the FTX collapse and continue to deteriorate. With this backdrop, the ongoing legal battles faced by Binance and Coinbase may further contribute to the industry's uncertain climate, compounding the challenges they already face. What's next?
Looking forward, the outcome of these legal battles remains uncertain. The impact on Binance, Coinbase, and the broader crypto landscape will depend on a complex interplay of legal strategies, market sediment, and regulatory developments. However, as the saga unfolds, crypto enthusiasts and observers alike are in a quest to envision what lies ahead for the world of cryptocurrencies, giving rise to a spirited debate. Some argue that this ongoing battle is not only beneficial but also potentially constructive as it promises to yield a clearer understanding of the regulatory landscape. According to Giagola, an insightful observer, the crypto industry has long been plagued by a conspicuous lack of transparency. He remarks transparency is sorely lacking in this industry. However, the outcome of this struggle does not rest solely on the shoulders of the judiciary. Notably, Coinbase, alongside other prominent crypto firms, along with the SEC, is urging Congress to take an active role by enacting legislation specifically tailored to this infantile sector. Nevertheless, the wheels of progress in the legislative arena often turn slowly, suggesting that tangible action may take time to materialize. The year 2022 marked a pivotal turning point for the cryptocurrency realm as it experienced a profound and jarring descent to reality. Although cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have gained immense popularity, their ownership remains a far cry from the widespread participation observed in stock markets. A recent research report reveals that a mere 12% of the population dabbles in crypto investments, a fraction that pales in comparison to the number of households involved in stock market investments. Clearly, there is room for expansion in terms of transparency and trust within the crypto sector, and this may eventually attract a greater influx of investment capital. Yet, it must be acknowledged that the path to achieving these lofty goals is likely to be shrewn with obstacles and disorder. The journey ahead promises to be anything but smooth. In the worst case, expect something entirely messy.